Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 11, Follow the Spiders Free Play for Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. Now, as you can tell on the right hand side, we do get all those collectibles as per usual, minus that one gold brick that we got for completing the story mode version of this level. And we are going for that true wizard status of 90,000 studs. And it is important to note that you do need a dark arts or dark magic wizard in order to complete this level. So if you got a dark arts, dark magic wizard, you're ready to roll. Let's do this. Select uh, follow spiders free play and let's go. All right, now right off the bat, I'm going to note that uh, we do have video quick links down below in the video description. Those will basically take you through to all of the important parts of the video. So some of you are here just for a house crest, or maybe you just need to find that student in peril. Whatever it is you're looking for, we've got links down below, and it should take you right to it. Now, I mention that because there is um, a little bit of a time consumer on this one. Now, as a lot of you know, I hate to try and break apart certain like you know mini kits or in this case house crests or, or things like that so um, I try to like go and get them all in one swoop so sometimes I'll get kind of far into the level and then I'll return to the beginning and I do that in this level as I'm getting a bunch of blue studs there uh, just kind of explain this so you guys know you can see there's a handful of these mushrooms that I keep targeting with Wingardium Leviosa I come back and get all those in one swoop so feel free to get those along the way if you want but I might recommend waiting or at least clicking the quick link for that one so that you can watch me get them all in a sequence that being said uh, we have uh, used a big tree like character to get up on this top ledge and then use Wingardium Leviosa in the back to go ahead and make that cloud rain down on the tree which then uh, allows those little dudes to come out and give us the ladder I don't remember the little dudes names having a brain fart right now my bad on that but uh, once you get the ladder up there and all characters are up there you could switch to one of your characters who can dig in this case we used Hermione and her little kitty cat Crookshanks and uh, there's another one of those mushy mushies that we're gonna save for later but uh, once you use the kitty or whichever way you dig through that, the tree falls and allows you access into the next little area here. And we're going to go ahead and run around and take out, there's a, a wasp or a hornet, whatever that is there. But uh, don't worry, there's no nest in this area. Go ahead and head down onto the little pier here and use Loomis Solum to get rid of the tentacles. Hop on the broom. I prefer to use Harry just because he's a little bit more agile on these, has a little better control. And, um, yeah, once you get across to the other side, there is a handful of bees, wasps, hornets, whichever you want to call them. And there is a nest off in the corner there. But once you get those guys taken care of, you're going to want to make your way back to the other pier and beard, build it up, beard it up, build it up with Wingardium Leviosa. And then you're going to want to jump on the edge of it and look out over the water and target that silver gate. Now, it is kind of hard to target when you're on a... Um, on a broom and it's hard to target from up on the land so we highly recommend you use the bridge or the pier down there the ramp so to speak once you uh bust open the cage a couple frogs pop out hop on the frog and follow it through the four gates uh make sure you go really slow through the gates because it is possible to go too fast through the gate and not get credit for it uh, you won't lose anything it's just more time consuming got to go back but once you get all the gates you can hop out in the middle and grab that first house crest so booyah kashow now we're going to keep on moving along the way here, and we're going to head up to what appears to be a little cabinet that dark magic can be used on. Go ahead and select your dark arts or dark magic wizard and make it happen. We get our first character token. So a couple studs floating around, and there is a little bit of a story moment here where you have to kind of, I don't know if you have to target something and hit it or if you just have to walk to a certain point. But once you get so far, uh, it does have this little animation or this little mini cut scene here. And uh, we see one ladder get pulled from us, and then we see another get created for us. So we'll go ahead and smash everything in sight and grab a bunch of studs. Because, hey, 90,000 studs, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's hard to get on this level, but it's certainly uh, a little bit of a task. But now we have actually opened up the pathway to all of the mushrooms that we need to use Wingardium Leviosa on. So we're going to head all the way back to the beginning right now, and we're going to knock all these guys out in a quick... Uh, I guess fashion quick order so booyaka shout all ten right now so there's one you're gonna hop up or climb up this ladder on this little level here and then BAM there's two there's another one down in this bottom right corner kind of hiding behind them bushes three cross the bridge there's a couple more on this little island here one up top by the sign 
And one down below on the kind of the front side of the screen here. Yeah, you thought I was going out on the pier, didn't you? All right, so there's five. So you should have five done before using the broom stick or the, what is it? The broom was something, something 2000, Nimble, Nimbus 2000 or something like that. Boy, it's been a while. I need to watch these movies again. I, I don't have enough time to read the books. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, read the books, they're better, but I don't know, not enough time. All right, so yeah, I get stuck. A little bit of a noob moment there. Sorry about that. And uh, once you get back over, there is uh, the first set of mushrooms is right there on the front right side. There's another one right behind that green tree. Kind of hard to see. Easy to miss, I guess. And that front right corner where you had to walk up to to trigger that cinematic scene for the story mode there. Uh, there's one in that corner. Now we're going to head up the ladder and go up to the right. Now keep in mind there is a character token off to the left, and we do come back and get that. But again, we didn't want to mix these things up. We wanted to get all of these mushrooms all in one swoop rather than trying to confuse you guys or split them up and giving you multiple quick links. So sometimes we have to, but when we can avoid it, we do. And look at that. The tenth and final mushroom is back there. Go ahead and swoop up that house crest, the green one. And... Uh, Go ahead and keep on keeping on. You might have noticed, too, that with a two times multiplier right around here, you guys should probably be getting pretty close to the true wizard status as we just grabbed it there. And all right, now we're going to head back to this character token. You guys probably got this in the story mode, but just in case you didn't, you can go ahead and hop over on these spider webs. Awfully bouncy. Usually those are kind of sticky, aren't they? I've never been in a life size spider web, I guess, so I don't really know the answer to that question, but. Go ahead and knock out these pixies in the back. They're kind of hanging out, destroying this tree or keeping the tree from doing what we need to. That was a little weird how it kind of like gets into a momentum after. The, uh, anyways, a little whiplash takes away the, uh, well, actually gives us the ability to dig. And uh, once we have our pathway, go ahead and jump down and we'll go ahead and grab that student in peril. We'll turn that frown upside down. All right, the big boss with the big spider off in the back corner. You might realize there's a little student in peril. I had a hard time targeting him himself. It seemed to be the spider web behind him was what I needed to hit. So we grab that and we turn that frown upside down. You know what I'm saying? And uh, in the front right side, you might notice there is a silver lock on a treasure chest. Reducto should do the trick on that, busting it open. And now we can go ahead and... Uh, Kind of focus on there's three hearts that you need to take out on this big spider uh we toss one right there but then head over to the left hand side because there is a dark magic orb it looks like a giant black golf ball to be honest with you but uh go ahead and use your dark magic on that pick up the third house crest along the way here and uh, at this point now you can go ahead and take out the spider and you do that by targeting the there, there's a, there's two different variations of spider. There's kind of a brown one, and then there's another one that's like black with like a purple stripe on him. Um, you're going to want to use your Wingardium Leviosa to lift him up and then tap it again and hold it to spin the spider and throw him at him. Once you repeat that process three times, it takes you to this car chasing scene. And I want to note that although there are five boxes you need to take out, um, there is kind of a fashion too. The first two kind of seem to be on the left hand side of the screen. Second two seem to be kind of on the right middle to the right side of the screen. But it's important to note that in a lot of these situations, you can actually, if you can avoid the big spider, you can drive around and go back. So let's say I just missed that guy. I can loop around hard right and I should be able to go back and get that. And I kind of prove that here in a minute where I miss one and I go back and around. But uh, so the first two are kind of like I said, on the left hand side of the path. And, and you know, you, who cares if you die or whatever? Let the spider get you, let him toss you around. Other than it taking a little bit of extra time, it shouldn't do anything. No frustration should be involved. Uh, but just go slow. I did bump up the brightness quite a bit on this, and you might do that in-game and maybe on your TV as well to help find and see these boxes. But you can see we've got, um, what, one more to go? And the final one is actually after you drop off this ledge, you're gonna have to turn around and go back. But you can see, He's already got me pinned, and you think, oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get it. But I drive right back there. Not only do I get the final uh, box, but I also find a purple stud back there. So look how many studs I have. So 90K was what I needed to uh, get the stud uh, requirement, and I got almost double that. In fact, we're getting pretty close. Oh, I don't know if we hit it. Are we going to hit it? Are we going to hit it? Yes, there we go. So 
Look at that. Two times. We might not have even needed the stud multiplier for this level. Regardless, we make it all the way to the end. There's one last little jump scene here. Uh, a couple more studs to be had. A little bit more. And that's it. Booyah shout. All right. So we got all three character tokens for the level, as we're about to prove. One, two, and three. And I believe Malfoy is another dark arts magic. Uh... Wizard? I, I'm not sure on that, but I think he is. And we got all four house crests. We do, in fact, get the true wizard status. In fact, we doubled it, huh? Oh, yeah. And uh, lots of studs. Lots and lots of studs. Almost, uh, well, we do. We have one and a quarter million. There we go. Almost, yeah. And hey, turn that frown upside down. We got that student in peril. And for that, we got a couple of gold bricks. One for the house crests, one for the true wizard, and one for the student in peril, putting us quite a bit, well, not quite to the halfway point, but... Oh, to the yeah, that's going to go ahead and wrap up Lego Harry Potter years one through four, level 11, follow the spiders, free play. And as always, we hope you found this video a little bit entertaining and, and helpful. And uh, hey, if you guys have any questions for us or if you have suggestions for us, head on over to our social pages like Facebook, Twitter, comment. Oh, subscribe down below. We also have Instagram, G+, and Twitch pages. All of these links can be found down below in the video description, as well as the link to our website, happythumbsgaming.com, which is the home of our product and gaming reviews, as well as our trophy achievement guide. So some of you guys like our videos, but some of you guys are a lot more visual and like those textual-based guides. We don't do them for all games, but games that we feel will be really popular and that you guys would like um, and that would be helpful for, we often do a textual guide for that too. Some of you probably don't even know that, so... Check us, check us out, and as always, until next time... I know I always try to be original and have something, you know, different, but uh, I was sitting here thinking, I, I got nothing. I mean, there's no, I there's, can't make a spider noise. I kind of abused the whole turn the frown upside down in this video. So, I, you know, I got, I got nothing. <laughs>